Welcome friends, uh, we're going to do uh, three origami hearts for the garland. You can use your design paper, you can use recycled paper. For uh, learning the piece I want you to just grab a white one. I will do it in a color one so you can see when I flip the paper. Okay? You can pause the video every time I do one step. This shape has multiple steps. So after you see what I am doing here, Go ahead and pause the video and take your time so you can do your folds crisp and very precise. Fold your paper in half, open it and fold it in the opposite half. See how I'm matching my corners and then I do my fold and I press down very well every time I make a new fold. Open your paper. Now we're gonna work on the bottom and we're gonna take the bottom mar margin right where the middle of your fold is. So we're folding just the bottom half to the middle and fold. Pause, pause your video, take your time. Here's my first a flip of the paper. See? Now I'm working on the other side. The fold is in the bottom. I'm gonna take one half of my paper and I'm gonna fold it right in the middle. So they have to match that middle fold that you see there. So bring your corner and match your margins. Fold it in the middle just like that. Press down your fold and now do the same thing in the other side. Here's where you will pause your video and do take your time. Second flip, and your paper should look something like this. You have a little triangle in the bottom. Now we're going to take this margin and we're going to match it to the middle. So I will flip my paper like this so it's easier for me to match those folds. It has to be very precise and very straight. So first I match my corners and then I press my fold. I'm going to flip my paper. My I'm going to rotate my paper again to do it in the opposite side. Just like that. And your origami should look just like this right now. Here I'm just showing you what it should look like. Now. Now we're going to get into the final steps. The folds are going to be a little bit higher, harder to do because our paper has been folded many times. Pause the video and take your time. Take, your, uh, take that uh, corner of the tri triangle and pull it up to the top of your shape. We're going to fold it in half. Make sure you keep a straight line in the middle and press those folds really tidy. Tidy them up open. See how I'm just tidying up my folds right there? Okay, now you you have you have made the middle of your fold. We're gonna take just the tip of the corner in like a triangle shape and again I'm just matching my lines and the middle. I don't want to fold too much or too little. It has to be precise right there. I do the same in the opposite side. You should pause your video and work at your own pace. This is a very challenging origami shape. There you go. Hold it. 
empress. See how my both both of my hands are working together like a team. That's why it's so cool to do origami because you get your hands to work together. Just like that. Now this part is tricky. So take your time, watch me do it, and then pause the video and try to do it again. I'm gonna hide the top triangle in this little pocket on the bottom triangle. They are the same size, so one will just tuck inside the other one. But when you do that, you will see there's some paper in the back. That's gonna give you the heart shape later. So make sure you don't fold those all the way. So I hide my triangle, but I'm not pressing down yet because I'm gonna show you what it's called in origami, a pocket fold. Before I do that, I'm gonna create a pocket fold with those uh, layers on top. So I'm gonna stick my fingers in there, try to separate them a little bit. See how I'm just kind of like helping the paper get in place. And now I'm gonna make two tiny triangles there. So one layer is gonna go down, one layer is gonna go up. Just like this, watch. I help myself with, it, with my paper with my finger, create the pocket, and then I just find my triangle, match my lines, and press down. That's called a pocket fold. And the same thing in the other side. I know this is tricky. Our first origami shape is kind of a challenging one, but since it's Valentine's Day theme and it looks so cool when you're done, take a little practice and you will master it. We're almost done. We have two tiny triangles. See how my lines match? It's very important to try to keep your lines straight. Now I'm just gonna fold the two top corners. I'm just showing you how your shape looks in the other side. Back to where we left. The two top corners, you're gonna fold like a, a tiny triangle again. That's gonna give you the heart shape on top. Just like that. And the other one. Now you can keep it, you can leave the origami uh, just as it is. Or you can fold the little tips to round up the heart shape. That's optional. You can keep it either way. Your shape is done. We did it. Our first origami of the cycle. Now this shape is quite challenging. You might need help from your grown-ups and you might need to use more than one paper to master it. Don't worry. I understand. Just keep practicing and you'll get it. Okay, now it's time to ensemble your garland. Uh, you're gonna need a, your string, scotch tape, and your bee, beads. And the first thing I wanted to do to show you, it's a little trick I've learned. Uh, if you just try to pass your string through the beads it can be quite difficult because the string is too weak and it won't push through the hole on your bead. So use your scotch tape or masking tape uh, to create uh, to, to create like a needle. So just tape the tip of your string, one end of your string, and make make it stronger like a shoelace don't make it too thick or too wide or it won't go through the little holes but now it's stronger and you can just easily start putting all your beads in it so choose the ones you like the most put them all use all 30 of them you should have about 30 on your on your zip lock and then i'll show you how to put your heart shapes in there
Okay, great. I'm almost done. Um, so why did I choose to start origami with this heart shape? It was matching Valentine's Day and also uh, this shape creates like a pocket so you can easily just split your, your beads. You don't have to do one origami, one bead. You can just do the beads at once and then just open your shape again. Open the, the triangles that we tuck it together in the big pocket. Just like you can see in the video how I'm doing it, very careful. And you can just choose where to put your origami shape and your string will just stuck inside in the pocket and you and it will have move, movement. You can slide it in uh, from side to side. You can do more origamis than three. I just make one with three for the video purpose. And see how I'm just tucking them in and then I close my shape again. So go ahead and finish that. And that's a wrap for our origami garland. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found this shape super difficult, meet me at Zoom. We can try, we can uh, do it together. And just takes practice. Origami is a very beautiful technique, but it takes quite a lot of practice. So once you master it, the, the sky is the limit. So I hope I see you on Zoom because I have some origami uh, information I want to share with you guys. I'll see you next next time. Bye bye. Happy Valentine's Day.